India prides itself on being the software center of the world. Digital transformation it is going to change the, the way we do business everywhere in the world. What is the state and the stage of digital transformation in India? Almost every bit of software written anywhere around the world can trace its roots back here to India. This is really our strength. And this plays through in a lot of things that we currently have. We have probably the largest unique identification system in the world, where every citizen, 1.4 billion citizens, have an identity card. Our entire financial system and banking system is digitalized. There's a lot that is happening in the area of digital transformation on the ground that can be felt by people in their day-to-day -day lives. The next stage is moving this into the industrial sphere. How can we use digitalization as an enabler to become more efficient, more productive, increase the quality, become more flexible? And I think this is the advantage that India has, is we are able to combine now the real and the digital and bring them together. But what are the challenges that you see today uh, that we have in the digital transformation of the industrial sector and challenges also means opportunities. So I think India has always benefited through the labor arbitrage between the high cost countries and the low cost countries. With digitalization, the advantage that one had through the labor arbitrage gets completely eliminated. You know we have got Ambeg, which runs at an efficiency level of 99.99%. The average efficiency levels, productivity levels in India are around 75%. Now there's no way that we can bridge that 25% gap just through upskilling and reskilling people. We will have to introduce digitalization. The reality is that no large company can achieve that level of digitalization that we need to, to be competitive, unless the entire supply chain down the line is also digitalized. There are 60 million small and medium enterprises and a whole lot of companies that are part of the supply chains of large companies. And the real challenge and opportunity for us is how can we bring digitalization to the small and medium enterprises. Siemens Accelerator is probably the only platform that is available that can address the needs of uh, small and medium enterprises. Most small and medium enterprises are strapped for cash and therefore cannot do the capex requirements. They need flexibility, they need productivity, they need quality. And I think this is where the platform that Siemens Accelerator is able to offer them will enable them to get all these benefits on one single platform. We can show them an ecosystem so they can create solutions themselves with partners that have subscribed to the Siemens Accelerator platform. Or we can show them use cases of what Siemens has done in similar circumstances around the world or indeed in here in India. We launched Siemens Accelerator in India last year. You've met several customers. What is their reaction to Siemens Accelerator? What is the pulse of the market? Customers are looking for answers to real problems. Can we reduce energy consumption in our operations? Can we be more flexible in the way we work? Can we meet different needs of, of our customers without having to stop the production line, without having to lose productivity? That is where customers are excited and want to know more. And we have started those conversations with many customers here in the country. We have use cases that are now on to Siemens Accelerator platform, and that is the power of the platform. Together with the customer, we can then curate solutions or help them de develop their own answers to issues that are really most critical for them. 
Here in India, we have 32 factories. We've been working in over 15 market uh, verticals for 154 years. We have been accompanying these customers for the last 100 years, and we are able now to speak the same language, understand the issues, and indeed now bring the power of digitalization globally to answer real issues by combining the real and the digital. Fantastic. Thank you, Sunil. Thank you very much.